I'm uh, Nicholas Nack, I'm director of research at the INSERM in Toulouse, in the Institute of uh, Digestive Health Research. And uh, really the um, focus of our team is to try to determine the metabolites which are produced by the microbiota or by probiotics and which could have an impact on the host physiology. Hi, I'm Camille Petitfils, I'm a PhD student in this team, and with Julien Peugeot, a previous PhD student of this team, we have worked on bacteria-derived long-chain fatty acid that exhibit anti-inflammatory properties in colitis. We, we work on the probiotic Escherichia coli nisole 1917, or ECN, because these bacteria have shown to reduce inflammatory reaction in uh, DSS-induced colitis, in rats and mice. The aim of our study was to determine the mechanism implicate in this reduction of the colitis. In the first set of experiments, we extract lipids from ECN and we use high resolution mass spectrometry to highlight the presence of uh, fatty acids. And we're able to determine that these peaks that you could see on the chromatogram correspond to long chain fatty acids hydroxylated on the third uh, carbon. The length of the carbon chain was from 8 to 18 carbon. In the second set of experiments, we use different strain of uh, Escherichia coli, uh, probiotic, asymptomatic, pathogens, common cell, and so on. We use the uh, quantification of the long chain fatty acids hydroxylated on the third position, and by our clustering, we are able to determine that in our probiotics, there was an increase of the C18-3H. And if you look at the concentration of the C18-3H in the bacterial pellets, you could see that in our probiotic bacteria, there is an increase of the concentration compared to all the other strain. In order to assess if the C18-3H could have an anti-inflammatory effect, we use the following protocols. But we gave each mice with C18-3H and when just colliding using uh, DSS 3%. Seven days after the beginning of the DSS, we assess paracellular permeability, and at the colonic level, we look at the macroscopic and microscopic scores of inflammation. We quantified polyunsaturated fatty acid metabolites, as well as pro-inflammatory genes. And we're able to demonstrate that the C18 pure age has an anti-inflammatory effect. We also demonstrate in uh, this part of the study that the C18-3OH do not cross the epithelium barrier, and we perform this experiment in vitro, ex vivo, and in vivo. Finally, we are able to show that the C18-3OH is a PIPAR gamma ligand. To understand if other bacteria have, uh, can produce C18-3OH in the gut, we use the following protocol. Mice receive 10% fructooligosaccharide, which is a prebiotic, and DSS 3% to induce colitis. As previously shown, we looked at the different uh, inflammatory parameters in those mice in the colon, and we also sequenced the sequel microbiota of those mice. We have demonstrated that fructooligosaccharides decreased the colitis uh, scores in those mice, and that in the colon, there was an increased concentration of c 18 h in the false DSS group. This increase was positively correlated with an increased abundance of a bacteria genera, Oldemanella. And in vitro, we showed that Oldemanella biformis is able to produce c 18 h but also to secrete it in the medium, and that it does so in a higher uh, level than ECN. In conclusion, we have shown that c 18 h can be produced by a vari variety of bacteria in the gut, and that Oldemanella biformis could have a therapeutic effect in inflammatory bowel disease. Prebiotics, as fructooligosaccharides, in association with Oldemanella biformis and or E. coli nisole 1917, could be another therapeutic approach in IBD. Finally, we would like to acknowledge uh, all the people who participate to this study coming from uh, our center, from the um, Lipidomic platform, as well as uh, from two universities in Belgium, and you for your attention.